They're a 10, but they've had a little bit too much to drink. We call that a lit 10. Fight Chain Starters, episode 19, Litten. What's going on? I'm Pokeballer Zach, and today we're making Litten out of bike chains. Before we get started, when this video hits 1,000 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway to one person from the comment section below. So, what do you think about the intro joke? Do you have a better one, or do you just like Litten? While you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Well, with all that, let's get on to the build. All right, let's get started with this chain. Now, for the ears on Litten's head, we're going to be using two two links. Uh, for the head, it's going to be made up of two seven links, two four links. The whiskers are flat links. Uh, for the body, we'll be using two four links um, that are pretty skinny. And then four two links, which are going to be the legs. Uh, and a three link, which will be for the tail. With some quick magic, we're gonna clean up all those welds and start with the head. So positioning these uh, with the welded sides, the cleaned up weld sides on the inside, those two seven links are gonna get some quick tacks. Uh, then we add the four link square on the top and then one on the bottom as well to finish up the main shape of the head. Next, we're gonna add on the two, two link ears. Uh, I didn't weld these initially because I wanted to have a little bit of flexibility with how I wanted to position them on the head, um, just because they're, they can be a little bit weird sometimes. And so um, once those are welded on, we're gonna take those flat links, uh, tack one on each side of the head, um, and then we are going to uh, actually add on another four link onto the bottom of the head just to shape it up a little bit more there. Um, that was the sort of mid-process mid decision. Now for the body, we're gonna take those other skinnier four links, uh, weld them together and add them onto the head. Uh, I was struggling getting the position right on these, um, but got them held on there, some quick packs, um, and then adding the tail onto the end, that's that three link. I uh, just wanna make sure to get it welded in all the different spots and time to add the legs. Um, four two link legs, um, gonna go in the front and the back, typically how cat legs would go. Uh, pretty self-explanatory on that one. Um, initially just doing quick tacks to make sure that they are all kind of where I want them and that it is stable. Uh, to finish up designs on the head, we take the angle grinder and cut some little uh, divots or cut, cut some stuff onto the end of the whiskers to kind of add some character to them. Same with the tail. Uh, and then take a flap disc on the angle grinder to clean up some of those bigger welds and finish it off with the Dremel tool. It's just getting in those like finer spots that I can't get with the angle grinder pretty much. Um, it's just the fine details. And that is our raw, uh, raw chain litten. Pardon the interruption, but if you like this content and you want to get early access to more content, you can do so over on Patreon in the description below. I post early access to my Pokemon of the Month sculptures, as well as additional bonus content for pictures, future projects, and doing sort this of like pretty contests cool. and other fun stuff like that. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, again, go ahead and check it out in the description below. I want to give a big thank you to all my current patrons and all my future patrons. And with that, let's get back to the video. On to the paint. Uh, Litten is probably the easiest paint job I have out of any of my sculptures. Uh, it starts off with a base black coat. Um, then we take some red to add the face pattern, those little red stripes. Uh, and then also the whiskers and the bottom of the head are all red. Um, so you can see I'm adding all that stuff in there. This is uh, an acrylic paint that's just used to add these, you know, sort of final details on. Um, gotta make sure to get the back of the whiskers too. Those, those little bits count. Uh, I used to try to use spray paint with a paintbrush and I was just eating through paintbrushes doing this. And so I found that the acrylics um, worked a little bit better. They sometimes take some extra coats uh, but it is a lot easier and I don't run through brushes quite as much. Um, so yeah, having the little red stripes onto the legs, the, uh, the inside of the ears, the white part on the ears, and those are pretty much the only details that are needed for Litten. So it's pretty, uh, pretty quick and pretty easy paint job there. And uh, that is now our final painted form for Litten. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and watching Litten come to life. Again, when we hit 1,000 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway to one person from the comment section below. 
So, what do you think about the video? What would you like to see more of? And what Pokemon would you like to see in the future? I'd like to know what you want to see next. Again, I'll also be doing the Pokemon of the Month, which you can go see early access on my Patreon in the link below. So with all that, stick around, make sure you subscribe. Yep, go ahead and subscribe, because next week we're going to be making Poplio. Until then, signing off with a Totodile smile.